thank you thank you sir thank you nilesh sir sir very much i opening seminar thank you bhai sir this okay okay fine thank you fine now now i am just opening you you can ask your questions now okay sir friends so kindly raise hand you can ask your question after that others can ask okay okay so i mean sorry <laughs> raise hands with like there is an option inside zoom you can raise hands okay fine yes mr pravin ah uh, sir hello how are you uh, yes sir i'm good sir yeah. I, i attended your uh, uh, web workshop a uh, couple of weeks back and it was great and this one is even greater than that thank, thank you for the invitation thank you thank you um Uh, basically i am from kwamato as you know as you have remembered um i was basically looking into the uh, safety matches i was just doing some uh, research on it now all of, out of the blue one of my friend from a well developed country uh, uk he called me about uh, he wanted some uh, i mean he is going to deal in with uh, coffee cups you know uh, pepper cups okay all right so basically i studied there and he is still there in the uk so he is a very reliable guy so i can whom i can depend on the lead is coming to me just like that okay and and uh, basically i was working on this recently and i found a uh, few manufacturers in coimbatore i spoke to them i was trying to visit their premises but some people you know they were saying that that because partially it is true because the paper cups are banned here then i asked how do how do other exporters do uh, for example one exporter manufacturer exporter he is exporting container loads of pepper cups every every month uh, to european countries how does he do he says he is a very big manufacturer exporter only in tamil nadu it's being banned and all all kinds of things so i was really worried whether what is going on in the market have you got any idea about the pepper cups at the moment sir okay so actually i tell you one more thing like uh, i'll open the dgft site where you can definitely try by yourself i'll just show you uh, uh sir one more thing i'll tell you yeah. like you know if 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 basically dgft is coming on restrictions it will not restrict only uh, like uh, tamil nadu alone because <laughs> they are <laughs> they have not done any scenes actually so it will be banned across india only they will they cannot ban for only tamil nadu or something like that so if they ban they will ban otherwise there is something called restriction it might be a restricted product something like that sir okay say for example in dgft okay so for example here uh, if i am writing okay so for example if i uh, go here so you can see here you can see here like you know what is the exports that is done it uh, doesn't 12 uh, what is the export what is the import and also you can see here how okay. the the export policy the policy details so go here go here and export okay so whichever is your you know there is a lot of uh, chapters actually you can here see here okay say so for example pharma or organic say organic chemicals i'm going okay so if i'm chapter wise actually the whether the ban is there or not it is it is basically mentioned here or some restrict restriction is there so look at this here restricted or prohibited as about depending upon whether the country is signatory of montreal protocol or not saturated so this this particular restricted or prohibited so others are free so others are free these are all free actually so look at this this is export permitted under license license means like you know say for example for some products if it is restricted so there are three categories one is freely exportable second is restricted products third is prohibited say for example shark fins shark fins uh, is basically you know earlier what they they used to do is they used to hunt the sharks only for the fins they kill the sharks like so because of the exploiting the nature what they basically do is they prohibit it okay some products are like heroin cocaine so this kind of uh, drugs basically are prohibited so some products are you know uh, if they if the government feels like it's a kind of an exploitation or if if it is exported too much then it will not be available for india for example wheat wheat exports uh, you know <clears throat> they they suddenly came with the ban of wheat exports why otherwise it will not be available to the local market and the people will suffer for that actually so the government basically you know they keep on coming and and checking the things actually and they put basically either prohibition or restriction prohibition means it is prohibited you cannot do anything restricted means you can approach dgft you can tell the reasons and then you can get the license so like this exporter okay. under permit under license permit there are some okay. dgft consultants there so they, they basically take it so you need to check actually with your own hs code whether it is basically restricted if it is not restricted if there is no restriction is given 
it is not restricted actually so people are uh, not uh, saying properly so look at this so many prohibitions so many restrictions okay but still uh, what happens like some products i tell you uh, mm-hmm. like actually wa- one product i think my, i might have told so one product where the we wanted to, that the, the trader wanted to import copra 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 from indonesia okay copra copra means like what is inside that coconut okay, okay. right copra copra tenga so we can we call it cop, yeah. copra coconut Thank right you. so that he want to import from indonesia and some company based out of kerala they are importing it actually so when i asked spoke to that uh, cha he told me sir actually you need, you cannot just like that import traders first of all cannot import only so it has to be imported only by the manufacturers it has to be processed and this has to be re-exported it cannot be used locally so this kind of restrictions uh, will be there for some products okay so when you check this kind of data you will first of all you will understand so dgft uh put your uh, uh, your your uh, access code so we'll get whether some restrictions are there or not so but definitely you know it will not be restricted for tamil nadu port or something like that so if it is restricted if it is restrict, restricted throughout india or prohibited prohibited throughout india so uh, one more question sir yes yeah. okay uh, sir uh, i have been watching your videos uh, of late and uh, you have all you have always mentioned that go like going for gst iec codes in the beginning is not a real uh, uh, ground work or anything like that those are the things which need to be done at the end after end doing it. correct yeah mm-hmm. uh, but when while we start doing the ground work for example if i'm going to a manufacturer exporter he is doing already is doing container loads of uh, products to other countries and we when we go we, of course we can introduce ourselves we are new uh, we are jumping into this business and we are going to do that and all those things we need a business card we need a gst number and all those things no sir so how we are going to sorry but how he is going to consider us uh, you have mentioned uh, in this video itself like uh, they have other duties as well they have lots and lots of uh, commitments they invite uh, traders but uh, just just a small uh, inhibition out of me like how to Uh, handle all these uh, situations okay uh, yeah got you got your point so so i tell you sir actually uh, you know one thing that uh, you know that that br- that brought me so many things uh, in life is that when you want to touch somebody's mind always start from stomach this is what i i tell even this this appears to be very uh, humorous but actually it worked for me a lot actually this i have learned from my previous organizations so whenever you are going for a very big company go with your card your business card beautifully designed business card number one professional design second thing is that develop some website okay develop some website at cheaper cost kind of a, a br- brochure website or static website something some very normal website not like a e-commerce website and also but actually it, like one page website is also enough for you okay so na point number 2 after this you go there after this you go the number two. so third actually you always go uh, like you know and, and and invite them for some lunch or go with say for example if you are if, if you are from coimbatore whatever that is famous in coimbatore yes. some sweets go with the some sweets actually with them go the initial just present it to them so nobody in this world who do not i mean there is no one who do not like gifts everybody like gifts okay so you are going to take their time so you are giving you know for taking the time you are giving 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 them back it is actually kind of a win win situation so the relationship also develops so as a matter of this so this i have followed with so many people and it, uh, it it always works very beautifully okay so uh, it is uh, possible so you need not to have uh, the gst pan iec and all etc you can always go like you know sir uh, i'm a trader i'm a local trader i've been doing a lot so now actually i'm i'm getting some leads from my uk based friend so uh, after this only i need to apply for all this iec etc and I, i tell you one fact so there is no need for any manufacturer to ask for iec why they are asking for iec is that to tap your clients as simple as that even if they ask for iec means they are they want to tap your clients simple because how to tap the clients iec go to the customs data put your iec number search for it where you are exporting they will basically tell and they will take the data they will say like they whatever he is supplying i'll I can give you 20 percentage less sir and they they directly develop the relationship so when they are the moment they are asking iec means they want to tap your clients as simple as that so you okay. need to be very careful with them okay sir but i heard like when we are going to uh, give the bill of lading or something like that that they can tap our uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, customer details and all this your name is enough sir your name i tell you like you know i have seen like you know i have seen a fraudulent company 
with just one card one visiting card they have done cross of cross of frauds i tell you like say for example i am having lot of expertise in this customs field like okay. every yes. every segment if you tell the name of your company that is more than enough for me to uh, tell the astrology of your own whole company yourself everything your name is enough okay. more than enough so that is why i i basically maintain few companies actually so which okay. i i show few companies outside few companies i don't show outside because i'm known publicly so that's why actually i maintain few companies outside few companies i don't mention so even say I, i'll tell you one trick since you asked this question maintain two company one company you use for exports one company you use for domestic procurement you procure so you procure the goods from from the manufacturing company through the domestic company which okay. you are using for domestic company that company need to build to the export company both are your company only so but okay. actually legally it is possible it is 101% okay it's, it's, okay. it's 100% okay so you put 100000 rupees or 2000 rupees margin and pass on to the exporting company from there you do export so that he will not be able to tap things yes that's brilliant sir and uh, uh, you know you were talking about the gst uh, we we don't we can't uh, put gst bill uh, to our customers uh, overseas but how are we going to claim the gst which is being uh, uh, billed to us by the uh, manufacturer sir so you, you can claim it no uh, because you know uh, under 6a they basically file your auditor will basically file under 6a uh, okay. you know with your shipping bill details that it is being exported you will get the 100 percentage refund Oh, hundred percentage of any products are and okay. that too in 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 the current account number. Yeah, that is why I tell you the current account number is so important. You cannot touch the current account yes. or play around with the current account number. It should be a, a single account number. Yes, yeah, single account number always. It's better. I, Four five account numbers also possible for some manufacturing companies. They do, but they include every current current account number in every uh, like in 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 IEC also they they take permission and then they include. and in the ad code also they include so if you are including increasing the current account numbers also they it can be done it can be done but it has to be like in everywhere everywhere like okay. so in the whole supply chain it should be there and uh, you know the freight cost uh, uh, i have been trying to find uh, online because i haven't gone and seen anybody in person but uh, it's all a bit confusing and some and one of the site like uh, uh in you know the khn nickel some german right forward yes uh they have given me a quote the approximate quote from cochin port to the london port and all those things uh, but in the reality how, what do you think sir will it be far lesser than the quote online quote what they give or uh, will it be higher than that see actually most of the time i tell you say even there is a like broker like sub broker websites like cogo port and all cogo gio port cogo port Okay. So always I found that their rates are far higher. Okay. Thirty percent is there. Always. Okay. Always I found. So, so in the your online, experience, the online court is meant for whom? The online court is meant for some retail people like you. So okay. they want to mint more money from you. That's it. So that's why actually they are using Hello? this this kind of thing. Okay. One of the oh. yeah. One of oh, the in one of in one of your videos, sir, you have mentioned like it will be like around one and a half lakhs approximately to uh, African countries. Will it be more than that or double than that uh, to the depends, Europe? Depends, sir. Purely depends, depends, actually. Purely depends, actually, from uh, place to place. For USA, it may be two lakhs higher, two and a half lakhs higher. So always, I found like in the general average, the more than thirty percent is higher than the yeah, market, market rate. Yes. Okay, I'll take, I think I think I think I will be learning about this when I become your. Uh, full time student yes, yes, yes. okay sir most welcome thank you very much okay you. fine sir next mr uh, uh, dr tanveer yes uh, sir uh, good afternoon and uh, i am very happy to join your class today thank you sir uh, my very question is that uh, you told uh, don't give home address in gst uh, application Yes, uh, give virtual address. So, what are the demerits of giving a uh, house address? Because we don't have offices and all. And I have applied uh, one week ago, giving my home address. So, what shall I do now? Uh, sir, actually, I tell you the demerits only. Uh, I have seen personally two cases. One happened to my own student. One is actually an industry expert. So, when I visited them, so at that time the EB person, the commercial EB person, he they basically in Mufti they go around and see. Like in which are all the places where the home is basically used as a uh, company. Even nobody, like you know, uh, uh, even if nobody uh, like uh, watches you, the neighbor who they will inform. You know, this is the kind of environment we are living in, right? So what happens is that the EB when they come, 
So they will basically see like from which date you have started this business. And from that date until the date of finding, they will leave it for three, four months. They will, they will not disturb you. They basically come and see and then go. Okay. So, but first of all, how they come and go, like, you know, the, how it is house only, you know, so how they basically know, uh, come, uh, come to know that as per GST provision, uh, as even there is a notification that you need to stick on your GS, the company name, GST number on the uh, place, place of operation. So for example, if it is home means you need to paste that GST in front of your uh, like door. So this is, this will give them enough evidence for them. This will say, for example, the GST also nowadays, earlier there were a lot of GST frauds happened because nowadays they basically come to your home and they basically check it and then they will take one photo and all they will go. Okay. So you need to always stick it. Okay. So you cannot remove it. And uh, you know, when the EB person, uh, commercial EB person finds that, so they basically find from the day, uh, uh, from the day where you started until the day, basically, you know, they, they are finding it, but definitely they will not find it tomorrow itself or something like that. They will give lot of time for you to make all the business operation. You will think like, you know, nothing is happening, but suddenly they will come and uh, uh, float like penalty. Penalty charges, so you need to pay 50,000 rupees, something like that. So that's why actually I tell like, instead of going for this, uh, those kind of difficulties, so you can even ask your auditor also. Sometimes the auditors also, they, they might have offices. They will be accepting it because in the same company, five offices can also be maintained, right? So the auditor will, you can uh, talk to them like, sir, I will give you 5,000 rupees. Okay. So let my board company's name, uh, name board be here. So that is completely legal. Right? Okay. Le legal. So that also you can use. Sir, now I have already given my home address in my GST. Please ensure what shall I do now? So uh, better, uh, uh, sir, in your, is it your own house? Yes, sir. Yes. This is my own. Uh, can you partition? one one particular like office salon like for in one particular place you, you have you can have some office you have yeah, got a room uh, above my first ground floor i have enough. got a yeah you know that is that you can use it and you uh, you need to you should not have any commercial uh, commercial current also you can apply i mean that that is going to be a deposit only 6000 uh -huh. rupees so that will solve your problem completely okay that room is enough for you so you show that room only even the gst officers also come they you show that room paste your uh, gs number etc so you tell them like i'll paste the gs number here only so this is what i i, I maintain in the morning only i work in the evening i don't work so even the uh, current is not used something like that also you can do or else you can apply for the commercial current for that particular room alone so they will so have a yeah, basically line. i'm a medical doctor so okay uh can it be applied uh, can it can they give me a benefit doubt uh, uh, according to this uh, medical field and all uh, sir, actually, a medical doctor can also do exports or other commercial uh, business can, can be done. So, definitely, the you will not have any problem. You will okay. not definitely have any problem. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, most welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, next question, Mr. Saga Devan. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Hi, sir. Very good afternoon. Good afternoon. So I'm completely new to this concept. So the thing is, uh, if, if I'm being a trader, I'm going to buy one product to the man man some manufacturer. So how the packing and everything will happen? Straight away will be forwarded to cargo or port, or I need to do the packing. And okay. uh, as for the process, how the payment will be done? So initially, I need to pay certain percentage. After I got the payment, I can pay. See, you have asked two questions. One is that I think packaging, right? So where, how do I do packaging, whether I should do or uh, give it to the forwarders. And second is yeah. that like the, the payments basically. So I tell you like the packaging, most of the time, the uh, it is cost effective for you, for you to do the packaging at the supplies end itself. The reason why okay. is that say, for example, if you are, you know, if you are doing exports, the buyer definitely will ask for some label. His name should be mentioned like this. Uh, he will give you okay. some design. Okay. If he, he, he will give you some design and he will definitely ask that particular design to be imprinted on the carton boxes or PP bags or whatever the packing material. So you need to basically okay. uh, go and approach a packaging company and from uh, there you need to do all this uh, work. Okay. And that basically has to be shipped to or uh, transported to the supplier end. And the supplier basically will do the packaging inside that actually. Or otherwise, it becomes so difficult for you. Say, for example, if you are having, if you want to maintain so much of secrecy, 
okay so for example this label is there if the supplier supplier sees this he will get to know like who is basically the like you know but, but from the moment by seeing the label and all he will get to know like uh, you know who, who is the actual buyer and all so in order to maintain the secrecy then you need to have your own warehouse or there are warehouses also separate warehouses also okay that is okay. so those warehouses you can use actually they will charge you for square feet like per square feet 100 rupees or 80 rupees for so many hours like two hours or uh, per square feet per hour basis way they will charge you okay so uh, like you know there also you can ask your supplier to uh give the uh, provision sorry uh, goods to that particular warehouse and you can also take your packaging uh, to the uh, to there and there only laborers will be there and the laborers basically will do uh, will see uh, and and then do the re- repacking or if you want to maintain still more secrecy then you need to have your own warehouse and you need to have your own employees and do the packing these are the three methods and mostly most of the time basically what happens so the packaging basically is given to the supplier only supplies only and the supplies will do the uh, packing because after packing what happens it directly goes to cfs in 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 terms of uh, ocean shipment it goes to cfs and free cfs it will go to the port or uh, if it is air cargo it directly goes from the supplier location to the air port actually so there is no option of doing any packaging in any anywhere okay sometimes some cfs will have the option of doing the warehousing etc but not most of the time no okay most of the, either you need to have a separate warehouse only for all doing all your packing packing or the supplier location okay so there is no provision of you know freight for freight forwarder can do he will basically take some uh, warehouse and rent and then they, they will charge you okay if you are ready to you know if you are having huge margins if you are exporting to us uh, uk some kind of market when you are having huge margins you you can you can afford to have your own uh, warehouse per square feet basis mein they will charge so this is possible okay so when it comes to payment it depends purely depends upon like how you are negotiating with your manufacturer okay uh, for payment and your buyer how you are say for example some people negotiate 10 percentage advance 20 percentage advance 30 percentage advance i have seen up to 65 percentage advance also or sometimes lc so when it is under lc then it is completely you need to invest your money the okay. supplier will not invest nobody will invest you need to invest. so it dip, this terms depend upon between you depending upon the that, that, that is called payment terms like dp da uh, or credit terms lc advance so advance also sometimes part advance they will give like 20 percentage part advance they will give so 80% after the shipment is over you know that okay. these terms are uh, you know they depend upon like how you are negotiating with your manufacturer and your buyer okay sir okay so, yeah next uh, mr suresh sir yes sir hello yes i have one point out ah uh, sir after this is over so we'll definitely come back to you. okay yes uh, suresh sir yes uh you can you can op- uh, i think there is a, a, a option for unmuting it you can unmute it sir ha uh, un- yes sir yes sir, yeah. yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon sir good afternoon sir uh, i want to ask the three question one question is uh, how to we can uh, find the buyer uh, like uh, taiwan and singapore market uh, abroad commodities that can be find in the trade map also we can find the buyer and the uh, in trade uh, map actually you cannot find the buyers just like that but there are some self registry i mean they there there are some buyers who registered themselves okay you cannot call them buyers but some people might have registered by themselves okay so trade map is actually for data only purely for data 99 percentage it's purely data so how so can for we... buyers you need to go only for uh, you know there are three options either trade fair or meet them directly a third thing is do digital marketing like through b2b websites is the lowest form of digital marketing that you can opt for so this that is why actually i have shown you alibaba.com uh, indiamart.com so where you need to list it you need to pay them money for bringing your listing uh, up and uh, you know whenever the buyer is saying so you will also get that uh, you know uh, that message and when you quoting it and when the when your quote is found to be favorable by the buyer so he will basically get conversion and second thing is that you cannot restrict yourself to no i will uh, uh, i will i need only to uh, like if in case if you are going for uh, b2b sites and all you cannot restrict like taiwan singapore only i want you cannot restrict it can come from any any place actually you can filter by yourself at your end you can filter do the filtration but otherwise you know that uh, the trade fair will is an option but trade fair i don't recommend at all the reason is that you will not have any idea about the product in the initial stages and the buyers will ask so many questions and the trade fairs Uh, will not be fruitful 
most of the time it will it won't be fruitful okay for small small companies when you are just starting out it won't happen okay a second sir second question yeah uh, uh, i have experience as you told na the commission agent who i send one container to dubai so i not get payment so i already lost the money so okay. Okay. how now, much how now, much sir you lost i i mixed vegetable almost around 10 lakh rupees something oh, 10 lakh rupees so actually for everyone so i just told you here is another case study so that's why i keep on telling actually because so many people i have seen uh, sorry sir for sorry to first of all here uh, just like this actually so many people actually i have seen so many people really uh, so, so they have lost 10 lakhs 12 lakhs 15 lakhs this is the range they cheat crows up to uh, crows also so i i uh, after that i, I uh, review so many so in the dubai market 80% 80% business is only credit is just doing credit based doing agro commodity okay so there is another option i uh, thought we can register over a license get a license in dubai and we can uh, we can uh, like export and import also we can do and we can sell there is possible possible sir see 101 percentage possible what you need to do is that you need to basically have a tie up with the agent there shop who is having in the shop in in the allaver market if it is a vegetables only go to allaver market there are a lot of shops will be there okay so there you you can get, and majorly dominated by bengalis only bengalis means i mean the uh, the, the bangladeshis so you need to have a tie up with somebody over there and you tell them like you know i need to park my vehicle here okay so i need to park my vehicle here so uh, okay. they will ask for every day some 200 dirhams they will ask 200 150 under 200 dirhams depending upon your product so you know uh, especially when it is refer kind of 250 dirhams they will charge okay because okay. The, the current has to be given so okay. you know you can you can stand there itself you can stand there itself or you can allocate you can allocate the sales uh, you know the uh, the like responsibility display, right? responsibility to sell to the agent and you can uh, stand nearby to him you can stand nearby to him okay in that scenario like you know the, the passers by will come and go so they will basically take it and then they, uh, they you tell them like sir i am giving only on the cash and carry so but i tell you like the the fact is that uh, if if you are taking one full container load 40 percentage can be sold with the cash and carry but 60 percentage you need to basically give some credit or you if you have if you have your uh, some some supermarket tie ups and all you can do or some super 60 percentage you need to basically either give it uh, to the uh, same bengali guy or otherwise you know he will basically take some time to sell it 3 days 4 days 5 days so after that finishing it you can come back or otherwise you can have a very good supermarket tie up actually okay some supermarket okay. tie up the uh, uh, tie up also for example lulu market and all you, know, you should not go go for some european based supermarkets they basically uh, pay you based upon the per month agreement rate so for example they will not fix based on the market rate every day market rate so they basically fix based on per month market rate so you will your margins will be thin but actually that is a consistent mar- margin 40 percentage will be like you know your profit uh, goes here be a below or above actually so you will be overall profitable if you want to sell by yourself but actually opening your own company and all again is not not at all advisable because it will cost you minimum 10 lakh rupees in the first year because opening the company itself 5 6 lakhs and then you need to take the Uh, license from that uh, the food department and then uh, you need to also take the permission for the imports actually under that name so it will take about 5 5 uh, 6 lakhs minimum and then the rental minimum rental any office so even uh, small uh, virtual office rental also it will cost you about 30 40 you know like if in case if you are in dubai so you know it will definitely cost you uh, minimum 30, uh, 20000 at least per month so 2 and 1/2 lakhs is gone per month, per year and you need to pay some taxes and for renewal purpose like every year the there the license has to be renewed Food license and all. Food license, your company license, everything has to be renewed every year. So ten lakhs minimum, you need to just have it. Otherwise, you know, uh, go for a tie up with some Bengali so over there, and you need to stand there itself. So in that scenario, uh, yet it is possible. In this, in that scenario, it is possible. Uh, the uh, we we can make license and tie up also. That is benefit or no benefit? Like uh, no, if you make license, no, no benefit. if you make license no. then there is no need for uh, other tie ups actually so uh, say for, i tell you like another another is like say for example there you can find lot of uh, uh, the sales salesman okay those people who are uh, standing near the containers the, those people are sales people so they basically uh-huh. get paid only 50000 per month 60000 per month so you can negotiate with them you can negotiate with them 
uh, i'll give you 65000 i'll give you 70000 okay so you basically uh, you, you do all the work i'll stand near you you need to also stand near them so to understand like how they are doing otherwise he will also do lot of things to you okay so that scenario yes you you the sales person will know like who is the fraud fraudulent shop, uh, shopkeeper who is good who is better all the things he will basically know so uh, you need to appoint so you need to appoint such kind of people so that will avoid lot of your problems but okay. that is a cost for you okay that is a, if in case if you are opening your own with your own license okay got the point okay another sir question uh, there is already we contain one same so there is a duty drawback is high percent so already uh, the contain already we already same so that duty drawback can we receive or we can get or not because still i not uh, apply for that no see the duty drawback i tell you like while you file the shipping bill the, the customs broker while filing the shipping bill itself he will basically he need to ticket he need to basically uh, apply for the duty drawback road tap and all some people they don't apply okay that is called free bill so some people they basically apply so when they basically ticket then they basically you, it will come automatically you need not to apply only road tap you need to apply so here actually you need not to do anything it will come to you automatically in your current okay. account whichever you have given okay. but not receive so they not apply i think the this the it won't come sir it won't come after this but if it is the amount is so huge then you need to go for case legal for customs case because oh. you know so, sometimes what happens like uh, yeah. there are so many cases it happen like uh, yeah. sometimes it so happens like you know if you are uh, if you are uh, you know if you are if your custom broker uh, uh, it, it is wrong with the custom broker so in that scenario like you can uh, uh, it, uh, there there's uh, i mean so many cases happen it was favorable to the exporter only uh, that it was uh, not applied mistakenly because of his mistake i cannot lose money something like that you can have a case and it, uh, there are so many courts cases means it they, like landmark cases already over so now it it will it will come in your favor immediately okay so, so how we can apply this case how we can apply this uh, i so there, there will be advocates there will be some advocates specific to customs practices okay you need to find them uh, in in that particular area sometimes the custom broker they themselves will will help you so otherwise uh, those everyone cannot everyone won't practice they are also bl only a bachelor of law so uh, but they uh, it's not everyone will practice the customs law customs basically okay, okay. so you okay. need to basically find one base, uh, uh, advocate who basically is expert in customs okay 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 thank you So next is Mansoor ji, Mansoor Ali, Mr. Mansoor Ali. Hello, sir. Good morning. How good afternoon? Uh, how are you? Can yeah, you I'm, hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to hear. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, actually, I'm in Kuwait. Uh, for the job purpose, I came here as a developer and as well as digital marketer. Okay. And here, uh, here actually, uh, you know, the papers and the cotton boxes are really so much waste are see waste are here. so they actually the some of the companies are exporting uh, from here to india and uh, so many places so actually i want to know how these cotton boxes can uh, export from here to india or uh, do i want to uh, uh, open a company in india for export and import to means buy the cotton boxes from kuwait see better what i uh, what i can say is that there might be some already importers will be there okay in kuwait Yeah. definitely they will give yeah. the licenses for some rent okay that's okay. kind of a famous practice so they will give for say for example if you are going to do one imports they will ask you say for example they give me uh, this much money maybe 5000 10000 something there, there there will be negotiation so instead of applying for it all those things uh, taking all the uh, uh, head tax and all so you go and pay them 10000 rupees that is enough got the uh, point sorry I No, no, I didn't get so it. So instead much. of instead of you going for your own license, okay. So instead of going in India, your, in India, no, no, in Kuwait, I'm saying, in Kuwait. Ah, oh, in Kuwait, okay. Okay, so in Kuwait, so there will be some importers already. Okay. So you approach them, and in India, you can take the license because in in India it is easier and uh, uh, like it is less okay. costlier. Okay. Actually, I'm from. Uh, actually, I want to import to India from Kuwait. acha okay 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 so then you can take iec same iec code only is used for imports also exports also iec you need to apply the gst you need to apply for imports to oh, india okay 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 thank That's you thank you okay. thank you okay fine uh next mr guru prasanna yes 
Yeah, hello sir, good afternoon. My good name up. is uh, Guru Prasanna. I am from yes. Bangalore. Yes sir. I just started the uh, documentation part. I want to get into exports of uh, spices, basically red chili and then uh, turmeric, okay. oil and then powder gold. Okay. So my question is, I want, I don't have a facility and I don't want to get into the process of manufacturing. Okay. I want to be a sourcing agent or export agent or merchandising agent. Okay. So my question is, uh, uh, do we need to have a FASI certificate if uh, somebody wants to become an export agent? Uh, sir, actually I tell you, uh, the FSSI license first of all is not required in most of the cases. For most of the exports it is not required. There are some cases, say for example I have personally faced like when we try to export millets, at the time the FSSI was asked. Okay, fine. Now, the I, t- I I'm coming to the point now. So now if you want to become a sourcing agent, like in what model you want to work? Say, for example, you want to work with the, in, in close association with the manufacturers. Okay, in that scenario, you don't need to require anything because you are doing only marketing. Okay, and your name will be anyways, under third party exports you can do, your name will be mentioned in all the documents that can be done and the manufacturers you can, you can do the, uh, like the manufacturer will do the export under his license. Obviously, he will have all the licenses and he will receive the amount and you can take the check in advance, some commission check in advance. So this is the easiest model in, in you know, in sourcing, etc. Okay. So uh, you basically do not require any FSSA license in, because you are not exporting uh, yourself. In case, if you are you, if you are exporting yourself, then you are not an export sourcing agent. You are an exporter. Okay. See, what I am trying to do is, uh, I know a couple of manufacturers. They are into uh, manufacturers of chili powder and they are already exporting some uh, other countries also. Okay. So I thought I'll just approach them with uh, ah. inquiry, whatever I will have. In fact, I have some inquiries on that from Hong Kong, Nepal and other places. So I will approach them and tell them, see, I've got these many orders of exports and uh, will you be able to supply? So in such situation, uh, what is my role and what could be his role uh, in terms of export documentation? See, export documentation, you are uh, actually, uh, I suggest that you do export documentation. That should be your strength. You mm-hmm. should be coordinator of export. If, if, if everything you are giving to uh, somebody else, then actually, uh, generally sourcing agent, they will do export, whether it is import, whether it is export, the documentation portion will be handled by them completely because then only you will have the control. Otherwise, you need to depend on somebody else. So if you are the sourcing agent, if you are an agent, if you are a broker, Broker means you should know the process plus marketing. You should be involved. Only thing is that in broker means you will not invest your money. So otherwise you need to involve in all the process. Even say, for example, you cannot connect one party to another party. So you everything should be uh, uh, like uh, through proper channel. It should through you only. Through you only. So in the in that scenario, you, you should know the documentation. You should only coordinate the documentation. Whether you are doing exports or whether you are doing imports. Okay. If I have understood correctly, I will just repeat, there, you said two parts. One is, you can be a sourcing agent where you will be outside, the, I mean, uh, in the background and the person who does the manufacturing process, he will do all the documentation for exports and you take your commission cut, whatever it is agreed between the manufacturer and you. So, you are totally out of the export ambient. Is that correct? Correct. correct. You are basically a sourcing agent only. You are not an exporter. So in that scenario, you will basically involve in yourself in documentation. You, you, uh-huh. will, you, you will involve in documentation because that, that coordination portion is there. You will involve with the manufacturer who is the supplier actually, but it will not be exported under your own license. That's it. Okay. As simple okay. as that. Okay. So that is about the sourcing agent. So if I am taking goods from him and exporting on my, I mean, uh, if I am exporting directly, then, then you I are an exporter. Know, yes. Okay, in that situation, uh, this FASA certificate and RCMC, all these documents. Yes, and are... the, see, uh, again, I tell you, like the FSSI is not required for all the agro commodities. Okay. But still, you can take central license. You can, they take both uh, state and central license. Okay, FSSI, state, state and central license. It is not required in most of the cases, but in, in some cases, it is required only. Yes. So, oh, take that's... central license. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you, sir. and you can, you need to uh, tell them the FSSI agent for export purpose. They will apply. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. yes. Actually, next is actually Mr. Bismil. Bismil PK. Not getting a hand raise option. I have a question. Please, you can go ask. Hello, sir. I'm audible. Uh, uh, yes, you are audible. Uh, 
Uh, so good afternoon. This is Bismil from Unified Business Solutions. Yes. Actually, we are doing export of coconut to Dubai. Okay. Actually, uh, this is the one reason to join here session that uh, you are saying that Dubai market is not stable and it is uh, so fluctuating. So what are the other things we have to take care of? Uh, so actually, uh, in not only Dubai market, say for example, when I talk about Dubai, because why I'm talking about Dubai is that some people are projecting like, you know, Dubai is very safe haven and all. I don't want some people who do not know about export import business just fall into the prey. That's why I'm, I'm talking about that. Even Singapore, Malaysia, all these uh, Sri Lankan markets, now you just see, even they do not have the, the required uh, US dollars also, you know, to uh, send it. So all these markets are basically uh, having a lot of issues, actually, especially when it comes to agro commodities. The same Dubai, Dubai market only, Chinese guys are exporting. 95% of the people are exporting under proper payment. 95% of people, Chinese guys. 95% of the people get advanced to do the because garlic is the major item they are, they are, they are doing exports. Because Indian garlic is very uh, one, one is small, actually, it is very difficult to peel. So that is very easy to peel. Ginger. So very easily, you know, the, the, the thickness is very small. You know, that is what basically most, most of the people uh, prefer, uh, prefer. So they are exporting with, you know, and also certain other items are also there. So they are exporting with 95% It's Indian people. They basically, you know, they, they have done all these things actually. So agro product may, there is a problem. Like garments also, there is a problem. So I, I highly recommend like, you know, they, if, if you, if at all, you want to uh, do uh, Middle East market, Qatar is somewhat better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Qatar is somewhat better, but again, the payment should be, you know, within the same week. They will not definitely give you advance payment at all. So I tell you, side to the point. Agro commodities means no, no advance. No market will give you advance. Yeah. In 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 another term, in another term, somebody was also asking, no, like you can what do you can be a buyer. So instead of uh, you are sending to somebody, you cannot believe somebody, man. I'm sorry mm -hmm. for that. So you cannot believe somebody. So this is the problem today, sir. You can, this is a problem. So you can become a buyer because if you if you believe that I can be a buyer, then you can be a, become a buyer over there. So there, which is much safer. And I think you you are based out of Kerala. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So you can, a lot of Kerala's are there. You you can go there. So you'll see lot of models. I tell you, like you know, I'm even I'm surprised by seeing this model. So there are six six to seven seven different layers of parties. One one is the container importer. Another one is a big, very big shopper. And another one is actually the, the one who is maintaining some small place, actually. Okay, so they in front of the shop, they will have so, so, some small sh 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 shop they will have. And below that, actually, there will be uh, some people who are selling actually in the in the in the, the platform, in the platform, actually. So you know they will sell like you know, 50 kgs, 20 kgs, something like that. And below that, actually, the those people who are selling that um, that damaged products, they, they are ready to collect this. So once five layers in the same market and all are getting the sales. I'm really surprised. You go there, you can see actually all these things are happening. So a lot of Catholics are also there. And most of the Catholics, 90% of the Catholics, they don't import directly. They basically be a shopper because the shopper always makes money. They will have a shop and one shop basically is divided into four or five people share the shop actually because the shop rent is so high actually. So have a tie up with them. So that is the only option for you. And you stand there because so many people are ready to export today. So you stand there, you need to stand there. Okay. Mm. So, and you, you can ask any of the companies to give you visa. Okay. So they will give you some sales manager visa, some visa you can get for two years or three, two years. I think they, you can uh, comfortably, you can get at very less cost below one lakh rupees. So instead of de depending on somebody else, you can go there and you know you can, you can uh, sell by yourself. Mm. If you are, if at all, you, if you focus on the Dubai market, otherwise there are so many things like scrap is there. Uh, you know, scrap is there. You can bring from Dubai. You can take it to Dubai. Uh, you know, the other products are also there. No? Mm -hmm. Sorry? From coconut, we are uh, uh, getting from Polachi to uh, Dubai. Actually, the party is good. Commission agent is good. Uh, of course, uh, I mean, the credit, has, credit, credit is there, but... Uh, uh, the fluctuations, everything. Uh, sometimes we are getting lows. Sometimes we are getting uh, huge profit like that. It is average, but the party is good. Uh, within 40 to 45 days, we are getting back our amount. 
but the part is good uh, as you said that we have to go there and uh, to explore that's correct. right correct so if you go there then you, you, you the party is good if the party is making money you can also make money no mm mm so in dubai better to be a buyer than a exporter that's it mm-hmm. okay so next actually gautam mr gautam kripla kripla and he is asked a question i want to ask one thing that are there any products for which we can get full advance yes there are thousands of products where you can get advance say for example the same product if you are exporting to dubai so it depends upon the market it is not depend upon the product itself actually so market say for example if you are exporting to 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 usa means that standard has to be maintained and the supplier also very very limited supplies will be there you need to convince them to to take the supply okay so it is depending upon the market the advances are everything every advances depending upon the market not on the product there are th- so many so many products actually uh, are there okay fine guys so actually with this actually i am closing the uh, question answer session i have to export without much stress which are the best products to export without much stress uh i cannot classify just like that but uh, having said that so today i mean india is known for some agro commodities Pro- you can you can look for processed agro process something say for example mango pulp better quality mango pulp it's like mango pulp is exported mostly to netherlands very good market more than 1300 crore worth of mango pulp is being exported so you need to find those like jerkins you can follow my uh, uh, instagram i keep posting so many psyllium uh, musk so many products are there that you need all these products i found only through trade map and then i do little bit of research actually which i have shown so the, you, you can definitely find the products but i would not say like without much stress and all because uh, the stress will come where i tell you where where the stress will come one is actually uh, even not even convincing the buyer if you are going for advanced markets now convincing the buyer is not a big problem so only thing is that forwarding may you will face lot of problems so there only you, all your all your stress will come actually that you have to anyways manage or can i find the restriction about the commodities you, there itself it is there no so in dgft go there in the in the in the, in the front page itself it, it is there it is uh, given no so in dgft dgft may like in the in the in the home page itself it is there so here itself it is there so here okay here you here you put your whatever the just code so you put and keep discovering go to the export policy and see okay so now actually i just wanted to present 